This week in the Imperial Valley, the IID looks to build a new reservoir. Calexico police stop the Christmas Grinch, and appointments are made for key assembly and Senate committees. I'm Stella Jimenez, and this is your Desert Review weekly webcast. The Imperial Irrigation District voted to purchase 524 acres of agricultural land east of the Highland Canal for $8.1 million. The IID plans to build a reservoir to meet water needs. The location has been approved as an ideal location to provide operational flexibility and meet increased demands for long hours of water delivery. Opponents of the purchase argue that other existing reservoirs could be acquired for less money. The IID said they are still open to such options. Sunday morning saw one Calexico man very much not in the Christmas spirit. At about 7 a.m. in the morning, Calexico police responded to a JCPenney alarm finding a hole smashed in the glass door. Soon after, another report was made of a man attempting to steal a trash can. Police identified the man and discovered merchandise from JCPenney's in the trash can. The suspect was taken into custody and charged. Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia was appointed to chair the Committee on Water, Parks, and Wildlife for the following term. This is a committee overseeing numerous significant issues that will face the state in the coming year, such as historical drought conditions and the implementation of the multi-billion dollar Proposition 1 water bond passed by voters in 2014. Garcia's district encompasses the Coachella and Imperial Valleys, home to the well-known environmental concerns of the Salton Sea and New River. According to Garcia, there is much work to be done, and this chairmanship bodes well for our community's local issues. I look forward to working with my assembly colleagues into finding real, sustainable solutions and potential for renewable energy developments. State Senator Ben Wessel, representing the Imperial Valley and San Diego, has been reappointed to lead the Senate Energy Utility and Communications Committee. This will be Senator Wessel's second legislative session serving as chair. His jurisdiction covers bills relating to utilities, energy companies, alternative energy deployment, and conservation, plus communication development and technology. As chair of Senate Energy, Wessel says he plans on continuing to promote renewable energy, ensuring public safety while focusing on consumer protections. For additional information on these stories and more, check out our free website at thedesertreview.com. Remember to like us on Facebook and be sure to check out the year-end edition where we review the top stories of 2016 and the Valley's big sport moments. From our family to yours, have a blessed and prosperous new year.